Ajebo. I live at uh, Samuel Eknola Street. I go up last way here. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I want to sincerely apologize to God Almighty for delaying this testimony. Because this testimony is born out of the testimony of this our brother that just left now. I pray that God Almighty will forgive me from delivering this testimony in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Brother, I came to this church poor, wretched, but for me to eat there was, if I did not uh, beg, I will not eat. But when I came here, I started following the instructions of our pastor. I went to restu for restitution in Enugu. I told my yoga how I stole his money and all that. My yoga was very happy and he canceled the money and asked me that I should go. But before then, I used to see myself serving him in a dream for years. But after that restitution, that yoke was broken. Thank you, God of choosing. Thank you, Father. So in a dream, the angel of our pastor appeared to me and told me the, the, dream, the business that I will do. After doubting me for one month, I put call across to the person. And that is how God started blessing me from wretchedness. By the grace of God, God has blessed me today. Thank you, God of choosing. Thank you, Father. So but at the time, I, I wasn't faithful to my tight. And one of the days, I woke up from sleep, and I saw that so many people were in my room. And I asked my wife what really happened. He said that, she said that I shouted from the dream, and I started struggling, just like somebody that was conversing. That thing happened in December, and also March last year. So one of the Tuesday services, I came to Tuesday services after that problem. And uh, as I was going home, I saw our daddy, going towards that car park. So I now ran and I met our daddy and I told our daddy that this is exactly what has been happening to me for two occasions now. I was told that I shouted from the dream, I started conversing and all of a sudden, if not for the mercy of God that I would have died, our daddy now looked at me and said, do you pay your tithe? I said, uh, I was just say, are you faithful to your tithe? I told him very plain that I was owing God then about six million naira tithe. How much? Six million naira tithe. Six million. And our Jew started singing for me. Ye ne mani si ani naka o si ani naka o si ani naka ye ne mani si ani naka o na ta na chukuta. I was looking at him. I said, Ah. He said he was in a dream, and he saw somebody was beating and afflicting the chosen ones, and he was pleading for mercy. He said, Please, please. He played. He said, Allow me to deal with them because they are not faithful to their tithe. They are not paying their tithe. Our Jesus now said to me, I don't know, you don't need prayer. Go and start paying your tithe, and that will not happen again, and you will be blessed. I left felt very, very ashamed of myself. Brethren, I started paying my tithe. And I want to tell you, this moon made it exactly one year, that did not happen to me again. Mm. Thank you, God of choosing. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. And by the grace of God, God is helping me today. I have lands in here in Lagos. I have a project at this. By the grace of God, very soon I'll come out to share testimony for that project. It's a project of over 100 million naira. Wow. And how the money came, I didn't know. So that is why I, when I had this testimony, I quickly rushed out to come and share the testimony because this is exactly what happened to me. And there is another one that happened within that range. Our, in our brand church in Lawansin too, we are building our, we are building our church and one of the days our pastor was, came out and was asking anybody that can give God one million naira for, for a particular thing in the church uh, building and everybody kept quiet he talked and talked and talked and talked thereafter he now went inside 
So that evening I was taking injection. When I came back in the evening, I took the last injection. Immediately I came back to see me to, to, to lie down. Something was holding me in my chest. I pray all manner of prayer. I did all that I could. The, the, the thing was so severe. I don't know what to do. And I remember that our pastor was pleading that, so, that one of the brethren should give the church one million naira in respect of that church building. And I said to God, please, I will give you the one million. Let me give you the one million. Immediately I said it, I had a kind of trance. And the thing was like when somebody had a sleep, something happened. Immediately I woke up. That thing stopped. And that is how I redeemed that one million naira. <laughs> Thank you, God of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Brethren, <laughs> this our God is a God, God of mathematician. When this man was testifying, I remembered that this was exactly my case. This is exactly what happened to me. The truth of the, of the matter is this. So many of our brethren are not paying their tithe. Mm. And are not faithful to their tithe. But I want to tell you, by the grace of God, after that day, I have been faithful to my tithe by the grace of God. And I want to tell you, that affliction has not returned. And God has been helping me. Mm. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. I pray for our daddy. And the entire church in heaven at last in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless. Let's clap on to God of choosing. Let's appreciate him. Thank you, Father. Let us take this counsel very serious. Don't allow it, the, don't allow the punishment to come on you, to, to prove you, to, to make you do it. You may not survive it. So let these ones that have passed through these afflictions and punishment and chastisement, let this be sufficient lesson for every one of us to make amendment. The Bible says these things happen to them for our examples, that we may not fall victim as they did. So pay your tithe, give worthy donation, worthy pledge. See everything you have as what God of choosing has given to you. So when you are giving to him, give it to him as the thing belong to him. It is not yours. You are just a caretaker. So do these things and God of choosing. Our pastor preaching that message, he said, pay your tithes and be free from the dangers. So let us obey and God of choosing will bless us. The next testifier. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Choosing praise.